lovelies, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have a biggish H&M box next to me. Quite big for me, probably not that big in the grand scheme of YouTube. So we do have a haul for you today. These are basically a few essentials for my capsule wardrobe that I've been meaning to pick up for a while and I actually got a little bonus from work recently and normally any kind of extra money I get each month I just stick it into savings but I thought no I'm gonna treat myself to a few new clothes a few things that I know I will get lots and lots of wear out of so I hope you enjoy it I've got fashion pieces I've got beauty items and I've also got home items but I'm gonna start with the clothes so the first item I think this is the skirt I wish they wouldn't individually wrap everything. I really like how Zara just sends everything. I think they have tissue paper, but then everything is just kind of naked in the box. And it just makes so much more sense. I got myself, you can, oh. <laughs> Rosie is having a little roll around in her bed and making some grunty noises. So there's that. Um, I got this black, Rosie, I got this black satin bias cut skirt um, I just thought it was a really good staple there's loads of outfits that this will work with and it goes really well with my style I know that I'll get a lot of use out of it I just hope that it fits and um, because I've ordered a few things like this and they've just never fit right because I do have a small waist compared to quite big hips um, and I always struggle with this sort of thing but H&M in the past has been quite good for that so hopefully this will be okay I don't mind if it's a tiny little bit low rise I just don't want it to be really low rise I want to be able to wear like crop tops with it as well and I don't, if it was really low rise I wouldn't want to do that Rosie stop scrambling around in your bed next I have a couple of tops I got one in white one in black they're the same top and I got one in size large and one in the size extra large I think so what usually happens is the color that I like I always need it in the size that I got the other color in <laughs> so we'll see if that happens this time although I may end up wanting to keep both of these because they are like I said just really good staples for your wardrobe so there you have it just a plain white top kind of a ribbed detail and it does say 20 percent recycled cotton which is nice and it's in like yeah this like racer cropped style and then i have the same one in black as well which i'll show you in a second um yeah it feels feels nice uh, feels quite soft um i always really like h&m for their quality especially with the prices that they have i always think it's quite a good place to go if you can't really afford to shop above the high street but you want to look for those better quality pieces i think h&m is a really good balance and then here's the same top in black so not really much more to say about that apart from the fact that they are both very affordable from what i remember i have a couple of pairs of shoes to show you next and they are in quite similar styles basically i wanted a pair of chunky black slides if you've watched my videos before when i've been putting outfits together or if i've been trying clothes on i've said so many times that I feel like this outfit would go really well with a pair of chunky black slides. So I finally decided to try and find some on the high street. So these are like this nice crisscrossy style. I do like these padded straps. I have a pair of mules, like heeled mules, and I find them really, really comfortable because of this padding. And actually this is like softer on the inside, which should really help with comfort. So quite like them. I don't know if they're a bit too chunky, so I'll have to see what they look like on. Such a versatile pair of shoes. I think these will go so so well with so many outfits in my wardrobe i just need to make sure that they fit me right and um that i'm 100 happy with them and finally from the fashion section of the haul another pair of shoes and of course i've sellotaped them shut why oh, i need to remember to keep a pair of scissors with me when i'm doing unboxings because i always have to run out of the room and i get really annoyed <laughs> I have to pause what I'm doing. So another pair of chunky slides. And again, they are the kind of padded detail. That wasn't really on purpose. I was just basically looking for any black slides that they had and just ordered any that were in stock in my size. And these were the two pairs. They just happened to be sort of quite similar in that chunky style. I suppose I am looking for a chunky pair. <laughs> these I think are, yeah, these are my actual size. The ones that you just saw were a size down because they didn't have my normal size. But I actually think because they both look quite long i think the size fours might be better on me the top is too big like way too big like look how boxy it is this is the picture this is what it's meant to look like this is like one of those moments like what i ordered and what i got I like, no, it's way too big so i'm gonna put the black one on and see what that's like but let's talk about the rest of the outfit while we're here and um, the skirt 
is not actually H&M, I don't think. It says Divided on the label. So I didn't know that I was ordering from like one of their other brands that they sell. And that kind of explains why it's not the best fit. I mean, it's not terrible. Part of me is thinking, shall I just keep it? Because I've definitely ordered this style of skirt before and really been unimpressed. And um, I, I just feel like it's a never ending mission to find one. Um, but then another part of me is telling myself that I did swear to myself that I would only keep stuff that is literally 10 out of 10 and this it's not 10 out of 10 it's like a 7 out of 10 maybe like a 6 out of 10 the problem with it is where it is on the hips it's just clearly not made for a curvy girl but normally H&M skirts in this style are quite good on my figure it's a little bit big around the waist but quite tight on the hips it's not uncomfortable but it's not comfortable either and I think I don't know that I would reach for this skirt as much as I do like my blush pink one from Cara Millen. Um, so I think I probably will send this back. The shoes are way too small. My heel is literally like right on the edge of the shoe, so I can barely get them on, so they're really uncomfortable. So they're going out, they're going back. They're a zero out of 10. I think as well, they're just a bit too chunky. So that rating is not purely on the fit. I think they're just, they're not that attractive, to be honest. Okay, this is the top in black and it's actually still a bit big. I feel like I need to go down a size to the medium, which I'm really surprised by. I know that H&M's clothes come up small, but I never really believe it when I'm shopping from them. I'm always like, no, I better go for the bigger size because I've got to show it on camera and if I can't get it on, then that would be a mare. So yeah, I, I don't know actually. I don't know if I kind of like the oversized feel of this top or if I need to just exchange it for a medium. But you can sort of see how this outfit would look if everything fit nice. Like, to be fair, the skirt, I think you probably can't see that the skirt doesn't fit that well. Like, I can obviously feel it. But, I mean, it's not, it's not terrible. If I, I don't know, I think I'm still kind of on the hunt for one, but part of me is thinking maybe just keep it because oh, I'm starting to get fed up of hunting down clothes, hunting down the perfect item of clothing that just doesn't exist. <laughs> just popped on a top from my own collection. This is a pretty lavish one. Just so you can kind of see what I was going for, I'm going to have to keep pulling it down because it, oh, it, it shows the bottom of this really ugly bra, which is annoying. But I think my pretty bra is in the wash. Um, but this is, yeah, this is sort of like the vibe I was going for. So you can kind of see what I meant with this now. I'm wondering whether to just keep this going. I think, I think I'm going to exchange it for a bigger size and then go from there. Yeah, so this skirt, it is bigger at the waist. Like if it were up here, it would be way too big, but because it's okay on the hips, it falls nicely to sort of just around oh, it's bra honestly um not not the brass it's sort of the top's fault really but the bra is ugly so it's the bra's fault um but yeah it sits like around my belly button so it is sort of it's not low waist so it's still flattering but like it's comfy like i can eat in this so i think yeah i think having put this on and like feeling the difference like you can sort of see the vibe that I was going for with these outfits, can't you? Um, I'm going to exchange that one for a bigger size and hope that, that sorts it out. And I'm going <laughs> to exchange the two tops for a smaller size, see if that sorts it out. And before we go, I'm going to try on the other pair of shoes and tell you what I think of those. The shoes are very chunky. They fit nice, but like they're just they're like heavy to walk around in. I know that is the point. They are chunky black sandals. I've also just stepped on the label and ripped it off, so I don't know if I can actually return them. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'm just not like cool enough for this style of shoe, I don't know, but I just feel like it looks really cool with like outfits like the one I was kind of going for from this haul. I always like how girls look in chunky black slides. So I know, I could get a pair of Birkenstocks, couldn't I? I used to have a pair of white ones, I could get a pair of black ones and sort of achieve the same effect, but more flattering on me. I think maybe like I'm too petite, like I'm too short, I'm too sort of squat. <laughs> I think the chunky slides maybe just isn't a good look on me, but yeah, I could go for like a pair of Birkenstocks like this. I know people have like a thing against Birkenstocks, but I really liked mine. Um, and yeah, maybe that would, maybe that would give me the same effect. I know it's weird that I keep like I'm sitting, I'm crouching down and talking to you, but it's because obviously the camera's set up for the triangle lens. <laughs> so every time I need to talk to you, I'm like, oh. I don't always want to talk to you from all the way over there. Then I have a couple of makeup items to show you. So the first is the Cover Up Concealer. Very, very basic, um, palest concealer I could find from H&M. I just ran out of concealer and I needed one and I was doing a H&M haul, so I thought, well, I'll try theirs. Um, and it's fine. I haven't really got anything to moan about with it. It's very easy to apply. It's got like the little 
stick applicator it's the right shade I like my concealers to be as pale as possible because I use them for highlighting rather than concealing and then I also got the do it all stick I really like multifunctional makeup items and I needed a new lipstick or lip gloss and I wanted a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip gloss because I find that is just the perfect colour for me and I was hoping that this might be a good dupe because if you can see it looks kind of like it would be but when I put it on I don't know how true it is on camera I think to you it probably looks a little bit more pink but in person it's more like coral it's got like an orangey tone so it's not quite what I wanted but I do quite like it and it will do as an everyday lipstick and you can obviously use it on your cheeks as well just obviously don't if you get this don't like apply it like this because then you can't really use it on your cheeks but also it's a bit big anyway to apply it like that so I don't think that would be a problem and um, I think it's quite chic packaging as well like it's very minimalist I really like it and finally the homeware pieces so a little while ago I broke four of our plates like all in one go so we've been making do with four plates for a while which is fine because usually we only have like another couple over but recently we were planning to have four people over so I needed six plates so I was ordering things from H&M anyway and I thought oh I'll just see if they've got any plates and I found these which if you're a fan of Freddie My Love you've probably seen these before and um, they're very very pretty gold rimmed scalloped are they scalloped yeah they are yeah scalloped and then they've got this like I don't know what do you call that that detail like it's like debossed or something and they are dishwasher safe which I wouldn't have ordered them if they weren't <laughs> you can't put them in the microwave I don't think but we don't own a microwave anyway so that's not a problem so I got two of the little side plates and two of the bigger dinner plates and I love them so much you can't really tell on camera how nice they are like whenever I saw them on Freddie's channel I thought yeah they're nice but I don't know <laughs> I don't know if it's really worth it because they are I think about 10 pounds for the dinner plates and eight pounds for the side plates so if you want to get a few of them it's going to end up costing you a fair bit whereas the ones I already had were quite reasonable but seeing as two of them broke or four of them broke I feel like this is allowed so I think because I like them so much and they really help me with like romanticizing my life like when I make myself a nice breakfast I'll put it on one of those plates rather than the old ones and it just looks so much prettier and I feel like cozier and happier so I think eventually I will replace our existing ones with these and get a full set of them but oh just look they are just stunning they're so lovely and I really didn't think they would be dishwasher proof because of this gold detail I thought it would like make it wear away straight away but it hasn't I've used them in the dishwasher loads of times and they're fine so that is the end of today's H&M haul I am about to film a beach wear and swim wear haul so you'll probably see me in the same outfit while I go through what I bought from lots of different high street shops for my holiday next year so um, I hope you enjoyed this and hopefully if you enjoyed this you will enjoy the next video as well